Hey guys, Noble Joe here, and today I come to you with a video showing off the level 90 weapons for the Wing Diver. Now the Wing Diver actually gets treated a little bit better than the rest of the classes because she gets three, whereas the other ones don't get as many. Now, the thing is, is that all of her level 90 weapons are in the, the short range, close range class. And the first weapon on the list is the level 90 Sparkwell ZY. Now, it kind of acts like a Thunderbow. Well, you remember the Thunderbow XD? It kind of acts like a Thunderbow. Uh, you get 23 shots, and as you can see here, I've got that max. So that is max amount of shots you can get. Uh, it's 23 shots. It sends out um, a blast, kind of like the Thunderbow did. And it does 177.5 times 12 damage. At its, uh, at its lowest damage, which you can see here, I haven't leveled up yet. And it has a very short range of 83.6 meters, but as you'll see in this upcoming video, it's quite potent. The next one on the list is the level 92 Dragon Lance ZM. And as you can see here, it's a lance, and it does, it has one shot in it currently, but uh, I don't know what the max is for it. So it has one shot, and it does 36,000 damage. Now you have to forgive me guys because I don't fully understand uh, the damage layout on here. So if anybody knows, you just leave it in the comments. I don't know what 36,000 tilde 3600 mean. I I'm assuming that means at the furthest distance it does 3600 damage and at the closest uh, distance it does 36,000 damage. But that that's my guess on that. But as you can see at close range, it it can really pack a punch and it's a, it's a one hit kill as you'll see here on hard difficulty with these frogs since I'm using that as the test bed level on level 92 or uh, not 92, <laughs> level 26. The last weapon is the level 95 Phalanx, Phalanx ZT and it's a rapier. You charge it up and when you let go it has currently 200 rounds that blast out and it chews the, the colonists, the frogs, up. It chews them up in a second. And the damage on it is 60, I think it is, or 76.7, uh, whatever that is, 76.7 uh, to 0 .77, I guess at its shortest range, times five. And that's at its lowest. So anyway, it just, it's an amazingly powerful weapon and it's got a 96 meter range but what's funny is that when you use it it feels like it's even further out than that when you use it because I'm able to hit them at what seems pretty good distance so all right guys let's check out these three level 90 weapons for the wing diver all right guys first up we're going to use the Sparkwell ZY and I'm going to show, show it here to you as I hit a building. You can see it, it bounces off the building just like the Thunderbow and the Idun did back in 4.1. And it's a, it's a pretty potent weapon. It does not require a whole lot of energy to recharge. And thankfully, you don't have to charge it up and hold it in. So I'll show you what we got here. See if I can get some enemies here before they tear them out, tear them apart. Dead, dead. <laughs> now let's get this completely untouched one here. And as you can see, if I hit them right dead center of the core, uh, they're done for. They're absolutely done for. And this is a good weapon to have if uh, you run out of energy because it doesn't require energy to use as long as you have some in the magazine. Now watch what happens if I hit him at an angle here. Oh, took his leg off. See, he's still, he's still kicking. If you get them right dead center and they're done for. All right, let's go get another one here. As you can see, I can't hit him from here. I'm gonna keep doing it until I get... Still not getting him, still not getting him, still not getting him. There we go. Now he's dead. So it, it doesn't have a very good range on it. But if you're zipping around as the wing diver, you should be able to take him out pretty easily. All right, let's take this one out and then we'll switch over. Oh, out of energy. Good thing this one doesn't require a charge. Okay, next up. Now this one you have to charge it up. 
All right, this is our lance weapon. All right, let's go over here and get him. That hey, big guy. Boom! <laughs> All right, here comes some more. Oh, charge up. Whoa! See, as you can tell right there, it's got a good range on it. I caught him in the arm and it still took him out. Got him in the leg and it still took him out. But, like I told you earlier, at its, at its uh, closest range, it'll do 36,000 damage. Alright, let's charge up my energy tank here a little bit. Alright, let's fire. There we go. Pretty good, pretty good range on this weapon. All right, let's get this guy. Boom, dead. Got a good range. Last but not least, going over here. Now, I'm gonna test it and see if it pierces. All right, we gotta hold them. Boom, it does. Look at that. I just took out, I believe, three. And that one just took out two. So this weapon does pierce. All right, looks like we got one more here. Let's make this a good one. Boom! All right, guys. That is the level 90 Sparkwell ZY and the level 92 Dragonlance ZM. Next up, level 95 Phalanx ZT. All right, guys, next up, we have the level 95 Phalanx ZT, Phalanx ZT. And as you can see here, guys, it's a rapier class weapon. You charge it up and it will fire for 200 rounds here in its base form. And it will not stop until the magazine is empty. So be careful, be careful when using it. If you're up close to something, just be careful for the splashback on you. All right, now watch this. It's got pretty good range on it, 96 meters. And it chews these columnists up on hard difficulty. This is hard difficulty. Look at that. Nothing left of him. Now, where are we going? Another one over here. Here we go. Up. Go big guy. How do you hide a frog that big? There we go. Guys, what do y'all think of the mechanics, uh, the changes they've made to how the wing diver functions in 5? <clears throat> in 4.1, I, I have to say I like the way the weapons work better, but there are times I do like them on here, how they work. But this charging up business for like rapiers, it kind of takes away some of the fun for me where you can just hold the trigger in and blast them because on here if you want that weapon to stop it's either got to empty all of its rounds out of the magazine or you got to hit reload i'm not a big fan of that just tell me in the comments what you think below all right a few more now watch this this range it even gets them from way back here like I said, it says 96 meters, but it feels like it has a further range than that. But be careful and watch your energy, guys, because if your energy's empty, you're done for. There we go. Took out two. Whoa. It's got a nice range on it. Just took out two of them side by side. Not a bad weapon. All right, guys, there you go, the Phalanx ZT. So tell me what you think in the comments below. The, the Wing Diver doesn't quite get as spectacularly impressive weapons visually as she did in 4.1 when where she had the Idon FS and the RZR Plasma Launcher, but she does have very effective weapons in, in 5 here. They get the job done, and they do a great job at getting the job done. So, all right, guys, leave a comment below, and if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like. Share it with your friends. So, all right, guys, 
You know the drill. As always, take care. God bless. And keep on gaming. Stay tuned. More videos will be coming shortly.